Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read story number seven, Who's Afraid of the Easter Bunny? Written by Brooke Vital from Disney Five Bunny Easter Stories. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. Disney Pixar Toy Story. Who's afraid of the Easter Bunny? Oh boy, Bonnie cheered. It's almost Easter. There's chocolate and jelly beans and a big Easter egg hunt. And the Easter Bunny, of course. Bonnie looked at Woody's cowboy hat. Oh no, that won't do at all, she said. You can't be a cowboy at Easter. You have to be a bunny. Bonnie grabbed a pipe cleaner and twisted it around until it looked like a pair of rabbit ears. Then she placed it on Woody's head. Nice ears. Ham joked when she had left the room. Okay, okay, Woody said, putting his hat back on. Hey, Rex? Woody turned to talk to the dinosaur. Rex? I'm down here, someone called from under the bed. Buzz and Woody climbed down to see Rex. What are you doing? Buzz asked. Didn't you hear Bonnie? Rex said. The Easter Bunny is coming. We have to hide. I know I'm going to regret asking this, Ham said. What's wrong with the Easter Bunny? What's wrong with the Easter Bunny? Rex shouted. It's a talking bunny. We lived with Andy for years, Woody said and every year he got tons of candy, but we never saw an actual bunny deliver it. Rex shook his head. Just because we didn't see the Easter Bunny doesn't mean it wasn't there. How can you be so sure? Well, I, um, Woody began, but he couldn't answer Rex's question. The truth was he couldn't be sure. Actually, Mr. Pricklepants said, stepping forward, the legend of the Easter Bunny is quite old. Any story that has managed to survive so long most likely is true. See, Rex shouted, I told you, it's coming to get us. I don't know, said Trixie. Wouldn't it be cool to see the actual Easter Bunny? Maybe you're right, Rex said. That's the spirit, said Buzz. I'm sure it's nothing. I mean, really, a talking rabbit? That's just silly. Rex still wasn't sure who to believe. Buzz and Woody were usually right, but what if this time they were wrong? Either way, Rex knew he couldn't hide forever. He had begun to climb back to a spot on the shelf when something caught his eye. What's that? He said in a panic. Did the Easter Bunny leave it there? It's just some plastic grass, Jessie said. Bonnie's mom probably bought it at the store for Easter. Easter drew closer until finally the dreaded day had arrived. Rex didn't want to face the Easter Bunny alone, but he had a problem. Bonnie had left him in the kitchen. Rex hopped down from the table and saw something suspicious. Willing himself to be brave, Rex took a step closer. It was a chocolate bunny. Had the Easter Bunny left it? Rex did his best to stay calm, but he kept finding more signs of the Easter Bunny. As Rex made his way back to Bonnie's room, he spotted a line of jelly beans on the floor. Rex followed the jelly bean trail down the hall and into the living room. His eyes landed on something under the table. It was a piece of fluffy white fur. Rex thought for sure the fur belonged to the Easter Bunny. With a terrified scream, Rex dove under the couch. He had been brave. Now it was time to hide. Just then, Rex heard a noise. Someone or something was coming. Rex peered out at the living room and saw a big fluffy white foot come into view. Rex scooted farther under the couch. Squeezing his eyes shut, he waited for whatever it was to leave. Bonnie, 
What did I tell you about eating in the living room? If you can't pick up the jelly beans you drop, you can't eat them in here. Rex opened his eyes. He knew that voice. It wasn't the Easter Bunny. It was Bonnie's mom, and she was dressed in a white bunny suit. The piece of rabbit fur must have come from her costume. Let's go, her mom shouted. Our guests will be here any minute, and I'd like you to be here to greet them with me. It's party time, it's party time, Bonnie sang as she ran into the living room. Rex knew this was his moment to sneak back to Bonnie's room. I did it, Rex shouted as he burst through the bedroom door. I found the Easter Bunny. You did? Woody asked. It's real? Rex shook his head. It's Bonnie's mom. She's wearing a bunny suit for an Easter party. I followed clues and tracked her down. Wow, Buzz said. That was very brave. Rex nodded. You were right, he said. I was worried about nothing. Woody pulled his bunny ears off of the shelf and placed them on Rex's head. I think you earned these. Rex adjusted the ears and looked at himself in the mirror. Hey, not bad, he said. Just then, Bonnie and her friends raced into her bedroom. Come on, she shouted, scooping up her toys. It's time for the Easter egg hunt. Outside, Bonnie dumped her toys in the side yard. You wait right here, Bonnie told them as she ran off. I'll be back after the Easter egg hunt. As Bonnie and her friends searched for eggs in the backyard, the toys decided to have some fun of their own with a game of hide and seek. Ready or not, here I come, Jessie shouted. One by one, Jessie tracked down the other toys. Soon, only Mr. Pricklepants was still missing. Just when the toys had started to worry, Mr. Pricklepants came through a hedge. Ah, there you are, he said. If you will come with me, I do believe there is something you need to see. Curious, the toys followed Mr. Pricklepants back into the bushes. Quiet now, the hedgehog warned. You wouldn't want to scare it away. Scare what away? Rex asked. The dinosaur pushed aside the leaves. And promptly passed out. You see, Mr. Pricklepants said, pointing to a big brown bunny in the Easter basket. The legend of the Easter Bunny is true. The end. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed listening to this book, and I hope you were able to read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. I hope you join me next time. Bye.